This is too gross. We've been doing the Mill Pond project for about six years, and the kids, as they come on board, they're very um, inexperienced with the outdoor environment, but as they start to work on their projects and learn about like the oxygen levels and the pH, they uh, become much more acclimated to working and thinking about the outdoor environment. And it, it uh, propagates lots of natural questions. So in other words, it, it sets the stage for them asking their own questions. Um, and I think that's a role that they grow into. And, and the more that they're down here, the easier it becomes for them to understand the environment. One bottle, I lost Does it look like it anything better? Mm -hmm. That's a little more green. We don't tell them what to do. We help them develop their ideas and provide the equipment that they need and, and the support, the research support and, and the mentoring support. But, you know, we, we actually allow them to, to grow out their own ideas and that's something that they don't usually experience in the classroom. Rhizones are um, really ancient creatures. They're really tiny and very simple. Um, to begin with, they have like a U-shaped gut. So what they eat goes into their um, gastrula, where it's digested, and then comes back out of their mouth as um, <laughs> as poop. <laughs> and um, and what's intra why I wanted to study them is because uh, when I put my hands next to a colony, which ranged from about uh, this size to like this size, I could feel like um, like a little current or something around them, and I wanted to study uh, why there was a current. But The work of scientists is a work of continuation, where one scientist learns from the other, you read professional journals, you learn the work that other people have done, and then you continue it. In the case of the mill pond, that's exactly what we have going on. Each year there's a junior and a senior. The senior graduates, the junior becomes the senior, so there's always one student who's been through the project for a year and a new student coming on. And that way they can share what they've learned and build on each other. And if you look at the history of the projects, you'll see a thread of connectedness going through. The Mill Pond kids are actually experts on Bennett's Mill Pond in the way that nobody else in the world is an expert.